Hello and welcome to this PVLib Python tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to increase the number of modules in our PV system and how to then adjust the inverter to this number of uh, modules, which basically means we're going to increase the peak power of our whole PV system. So let's first go to um, our PV system instantiation again and look at the documentation. If we scroll down here a little bit, we will find the two parameters modules per string and strings per inverter. So we can see both default to one right now. Modules per string means how many modules do we have in series connected and strings per inverter defines how many of these module strings we have in parallel connected to our inverter. So basically with these two parameters we can um, define the whole array of modules that we have in our system. So I'm gonna add these two to our instantiation over here and I'm gonna say modules per string or two and strings per inverter I'm gonna leave with the default one for now so if I run the code now hitting F5 we can see in our plot plane that the um, power that we get from our system increased since we added one more module, but we can also see that the energy yield is cut off here at 250. So we're going to look at our inverter in the um, Python console down here. And um, when we look at the, the power values of our inverter, the um, direct current power is uh, 259 and the uh, AC um, power is 250. So um, this is basically the reason why our, our output is cut off here because we're looking at the AC output of our whole system. Now, if we want to uh, get the, uh, the power values of our module to compare if they match our inverter, we will only find the uh, current and voltage for uh, our maximum power output uh, of the module. So we have to multiply voltage and current to get power. And that's what we're gonna do. We say module dot IMPO times module dot BMPO. So uh, the uh, power of our module is around 220 watts, which you can also kind of guess from the name of the, uh, the module. Um, this means uh, our inverter is not uh, powerful enough to handle two of these modules. So uh, we need to choose uh, an inverter which has a higher power in order to further increase our um, PV system. So we can have a look at the inverters uh, database again. And here you also see the AC and the DC power. And you can then basically choose the inverter that matches the system you right now want to um, simulate um, by picking one with an appropriate power value and then just taking the name uh, from the data frame and enter it for the uh, inverter call uh, from the database over here. I've already chosen one inverter that I would like to use and I'm gonna leave the, the name of the inverter in the description of the video. Um, so I'm gonna add this here. And if I run the code again and switch to my plot plane, <clears throat> I can see that uh, the power output is not cut off at 250 anymore but uh, we get the, the nice uh, energy yield we uh, expected. Okay, so now I can further increase um, the size of my um, system. And I'm just gonna say we have 
seven modules per string and two strings. So now we have a higher energy yield. And um, the reason why I, I chose this configuration, if we now uh, look at our um, at the power of the modules again, and I'm just going to multiply it with the 14 modules I have, I end up with 3075 watt. And the inverter I currently have has a, a power on the DC side of 3142. So um, if I get a day of um, best conditions for my for my irradiation of the uh, of the PV system, um, I want to make sure that um, the inverter is not gonna cut off um, the the energy yield I'm gonna get. As you can see right now um, with the day I chose here, even though it's actually quite a nice July day. Um, I'm not um, getting this, this maximum output for my location with the orientation I chose uh, in Germany. So maybe wherever you're simulating, uh, you might get uh, a better uh, energy yield. So um, that's it for this video. If you ran into any issues so far, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any remarks on what I showed you, feel free to comment as well. Be kind, stay curious, and we'll meet again in another video. Bye.